Hi guys, this is Irina and today I'm showing you the DT project for Wild Orchid Craft uh, team. And um, <clears throat> this is shabby, um, shabby style project what I made it that uh, for this week. Let me show you quick the products what I was using here and then I will show you uh, my so I was using only a few flowers from NYX uh, wild, wild Roses, so it's um, not open, it's Wild Roses, so I was using very bright, like this style color, color uh, rose here and very light. Then I was using, of course, Open Roses, um, or White Open Roses 25, 15 and 10, so this is the same, the same um, Code, just different sizes. So I was using the white roses. Also, I was using the pink roses. Um, pink roses from from like um that uh, ten and fifteen um, millimeters uh, pink roses. And um, of course, you of. Um, uh, cherry blossoms pink and cherry blossoms uh, from the um, green tone what kind of like aqua I was using one or two flowers from our set but it was cherry blossoms also then I was using uh, of course uh, curly wild roses and Tuscany roses see they they are similar but yet the size is different and open so this is curly white Wild and this is Tuscany roses, so I was using two roses. Of course, I was using um, rose buds, um, like rose buds white and uh, baby pink rose buds. So I was using two of those. Oh, this is what I was talking about from the green set. I was using the cherry blossom that color because I have few roses of that color too. A uh, few of um, chrysanthemums, but I really like chrysanthemums, seriously, I do like that uh, flowers. And a um, few flowers from that set, what is a uh, gardenia, and it's mini gardenia, it's not like big three and a half millimeters, this is tiny uh, gardenia, and I just use the aqua color and the uh, one pink. And of course, what we can do without the smallest the rose buds, nothing, right? So I was using uh, the rose buds, eight millimeter rose buds, um, yeah, eight millimeter rose buds, six millimeter rose buds, four millimeter rose buds, pink and white. And of course, uh, I will put link. Um, I don't have the code number because this is what is left over. So this is. Um, sweethearts uh, flowers and uh, it was set pink set white and pink set so I will put a link to that um, to, to that product also and um, yep this is all products what oh, no, I'm sorry I forgot I was using that tiny tiny um, green stone with a uh, diamond center tiny small uh, flowers also a few of them on the wheels Okay, let me let me show you what we did. This is see, this is my shabby chic car. <laughs> so okay, let me explain you a few words. So the idea to alter car is not mine. I was speaking, I was talking with Neri, this is crap roosters, and um she was explaining she was talking with me about new york and she likes one store and many years ago she saw in the store the beautiful old style truck and it was shabby style because the kind of like it's a very boutique style store clothes so this is what she gave me idea so i can do the car and yeah i thought oh it's strange but then i like that idea so i got that uh truck it's old style truck and actually it will kind of like in souvenir sections in um hobby lobby it was all like uh original colors so what i did i colored all car 
if you can see with um, um, distress paint and it was slightly slightly pink it's not white it's just barely slightly pink um, so I distressed it first so I got all that crackles there right then I got the dictionary uh, pages it's French dictionary pages and then I just um, rip to, to tear the pieces uh, like randomly and I put that pages just on the top of the car whatever I feel like it's good spot just randomly and here uh, I painted black I painted all black first and then uh, crackle paint right so this is why you see all black under and here in wheels, actually I paint wheels also, and I put in the center that uh, uh, acrylic flowers with diamond center here. So, um, what else? And then, here, I it's big space, so I, and I decided it's actually workable uh, cards. Maybe it would be good for wedding style or something. So, in here what I did, I thought since when it's struck, it should be work. So somebody used to work with that truck, so I put few pieces of wood, round piece of wood, and a burlap bag. So all my flowers blooming from burlap bag. So you can see it's all back, half back, and and uh, wood. And because the owner has never never used that car, so now it's all garden blooming there, right? <laughs> this is my idea. So. This is what I did. I just put the biggest flowers, of course, on the perlet bag, and this is um, this is um, that uh, chrysanthemums. I was using the white chrysanthemums, and and all my flowers you will see. They kind of like it's not gesso. I didn't uh, put any kind of sparkling thing, and it's not gesso on the top. If you will look carefully, so all flowers I covered with um, tulip uh, fluffy paint and then it still was wet I was using my um, um, gun like hair like air hot air gun and then then you use that hot air gun the paint is puffing so the paint is double side and if you use too much uh, hot so the paint puff and then shrink and kind of like and then pop pops so this is what you see any kind pops here what is you can you can receive that result using the tulip puffy paint on the top of flowers so and then I put a few rose buds and wild roses here and little clusters here so it's all um, kind of like bouquet wild um, growing from that car even I got one big gardenia here yeah I forgot to put the to show you so one big gardenia here and this is uh, again the rose um, it's dark color pink but because it's puffy paint is uh, you cannot see through uh, it gives you very light color and then uh, randomly some places here and there I put little bouquet here cherry blossoms tulip and uh, rose buds and here for example open rose uh, 15 millimeter open rose white and um, hip rose buds and uh, 8 millimeter and 6 and 4 millimeters uh, rose buds also and the biggest uh, the biggest flowers even here the flowers is kind of like they're growing out or like this way the roots is everywhere and then uh, the big um, big uh, flowers like like leaning on the steps of the truck and on the hood of the truck so it's again I had what with this very very big um, not very big I mean it's a rose and this is open roses 15 millimeters and this is 10 millimeters and uh, um, wild uh, rose buds and uh, cherry blossom here 25 millimeter open rose so it's kind of like you put the big rose and then from the big point you just edit 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 and uh, and you can continue go on and on just um, you know I always put um, 
add number in my cluster so if you will count out flowers so it's all all these should be add numbers so and uh, just I put one acrylic flower from my stash and I a little bit used that same uh, tulip puffy paint so this is my shabby chic um, old truck and thank you Neri for giving me idea what I can do so please leave me comments guys I hope you like it and um, um, also now is a DT call going on for wild orchid craft so I will put link below so you can guys everybody who would like to try to be DT members um, so you can click on that link and go and read all that information and apply so I wish everyone good luck and um, thank you everyone for stopping by and uh, watching my channel bye